Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry, Science and Technology. Will the Minister outline to the House how the Morrison government is leveraging our nation's world-leading resources sector to create manufacturing jobs across Australia? The Minister for Industry, Science and Technology. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank the member for her question. And she understands just how important the resources sector is for our economy and, of course, for our jobs. And whilst today's job figures are absolutely amazing, with employment hitting 13 million, even higher than before the pandemic, our government is certainly not resting on its laurels. We know that there is more work that needs to be done, and we are out there doing it. So while our resources sector is already a global powerhouse and job creator, we know that there's plenty of potential for us to further capitalise on our natural advantage to value add, and that's exactly what we are planning to do and what we are already implementing. We are already very good as a nation at developing and implementing resources technology. What we need to do is commercialise so many of the good ideas that already exist out there so that we can take new resources technology through to commercialisation and to markets. Now, likewise, the same thing uh, is, is, in fact, at play for our critical minerals. We do have one of the world's largest reserves of these minerals, and they are used every day for items such as batteries, smartphones, pacemakers, digital cameras. But for too long, Mr Speaker, we as a nation have been so good at digging our resources out of the ground, but quite frankly, we've been good at putting them on a ship, sending them overseas, and then spending an extraordinary amount of money to purchase those resources back in a different form. That has been happening for more than 30 years. It is a long-standing issue in this nation. But what this government is doing is changing that narrative, making sure that what we are doing is value adding to our resources. And we are particularly doing that in critical minerals and critical minerals processing. So it was in fact only just the other week that uh, the Prime Minister and I were in Tomago uh, visiting the site that Energy Renaissance is going to develop. Uh, it is about a $28 million project, and what it will be is the first advanced manufacturing facility producing Australian-designed battery, battery storage systems. Now, whilst this is the first, clearly it is not going to be the last, because the manufacturing strategy that we announced in October last year has defined six national manufacturing priorities. We need to target these sectors so that we can grow manufacturing in this country and produce the jobs that are so needed.